Hey, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you on uh, putting a camera inside your project. You know, say if you want to have this thing, that I'm going to show you an example of what's going to look like once we are done. Frame rate's not that good, but it's just a demonstration. So I'll just play it again, then we'll get started. Yeah, I had the cloth in my last tutorial. So I'm just going to exit out of that. So we're going to start up a new file. I'm just going to make a plane. Make that green. I'm not going to do any uh, rendering materials anymore. Not anymore, but not in this project. I'm just going to put a, bring a box in the middle. Uh, make your object that you want to have the cameras be focusing on or the circle around it. Circling around it is going to be what we're going to be learning. I'm going to show you the two types of cameras. I'm just adjusting it. All right, so now we're going to um, go on our create, create tool and go down to cameras, you know, the little camera icon. And there's two, if under object type, there's two cam types of cameras. If you do, if you uh, put down one, you just, don't just uh, click it, because it's going to do nothing. Well, you want to have select it and just drag it where you want it to aim for the uh, target. And target use it just focuses on one eye uh, object. You can't you can move around, but it's gonna mess the target up. And free is what we're gonna be mostly learning today. And if, if you look under perimeters, perimeters, sorry, you can go under sock lenses and you can choose your uh, 20 millimeter, 200 millimeter. It depends on how big your scene is. All right, so I'm just gonna use my 15 millimeter because this isn't that big. Oh wait. Oh, the smaller you go, the bigger it is. Didn't know that. All right, so right away, as we um, select our free camera, it's upside down automatically, so we're just gonna uh, use our select and rotate. We're just gonna rotate it 90 degrees. And then we're just gonna rotate it un uh, until we see that it looks like it's gonna aim at the box. All right, right from here, uh, the top, if, if we look on the top, um, where wi wireframe uh you can see that our camera's not fo um facing the box but it looks like it but it's really not so you need to pay attention to these uh front top left wireframes cuz they really do help and you if you make a mistake and you publish um the video it's not going to look so good all right so now i'm going to look on the front and as you see the front so you see it's below our scene, and that's really bad. So now I'm just going to select our front and just drag it up. I'm just gonna give this like leaning down sort of thing. All right, now I'm going to uh, make this. All right, say so if you want to uh, see what your camera sees and render it, you're going to s select it on, I usually do it at the top frame because I don't really use the top frame that much. So I'm going to right click it, right click on the camera, and go to s set view to selected camera. That automatically lets me see what the camera is seeing right away. Now we can still move it and it does, it uh, shows what our camera is seeing right away, which is really cool. Gotta admit, that's really cool. Let's move it. Alright, so now to get that moving effect, uh, we're just going to go down here to our like uh, timeline sort of thing and I was going to select auto key and re the reason why it's all right it's just much easier to do animations and all that stuff with auto key it's just amazingly easy so what you're gonna do is just you're gonna move it where you want the camera to move and I'm just going to you know rotate it so it can have that turn thing move it back all right so now if we look at it oops if, all right we select say i'm just gonna put it at 40 i'm just gonna move it now select and rotate tool make it face the box and now that we we see that now if we go back to our frame we click play you can see oh 
select this because that's where our camera sees. And you see how it has that move effect, which is really cool. All right, so now we're just going to say 40. We'll go to 80. And now we'll, we'll move the camera again. Select and rotate cool tool to aim at our box so we can get a, a view. All right, then let's just go to 100 and just go all the way back. rotate it. Alright, so now that we're done, we have this timeline with green and red boxes. Alright, so now it's going to click auto keys and the reason why is auto keys all red and it's all over the timeline. It tells you that it's on. And I wouldn't uh, do this w without auto key because it, it just messes up your project if you don't do it correctly. So now it's going to click play. Oops. Go back. Select on the frame and then click play. As you see that our camera is moving realistically. It's really cool. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And if you say if you want to render it, go to render step up. Um, active timeline segments zero to a hundred. Go down to where you want the file to be. My doc. Cancel and then uh. For views, you have to do this. Um, um, if you want to see what your camera sees in rendering mode, you have to click camera 01 and then you click render. It's going to process it, save it to wherever you you're saved it. That's it. So thanks for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you guys later.